Um, what's the expectation as players, right? So you go into a Six Nations. What's the expectation under a new coach? Like, are you thinking, right, Ireland are bloody good at the minute, mm. France are the current holders, but World Cup around the corner. Like, collectively as a group, I know you're all winners. Is there realism? So Scotland, right? Uh, you got to be realistic sometimes. Yeah. You ain't winning a World Cup. So you're going to a World Cup. There's no point saying, oh, it's all about the World Cup. We need to win a World Cup. Probably not going to win a well. We're not going to win a World Cup without being horrible. That's mm. not going to happen. But England, the expectation's always there. Yeah. To win a World Cup. That's well, it. I think that's what everyone was complaining about. That Eddie was too focused on the World Cup. So I won't be talking about the World Cup. I think what I got from the meeting that we've had or I've had with Steve was that our first, our next game is the most important. And from talking to all the Leicester boys. And knowing him, you know, we played with him. Of course. He basically just told me what I needed to do to be in the team and that I've got two weeks to do it. And <clears throat> he, he's, he's an honest, straight-up guy. And he said that if he was in my position, he would want his coach to back up his words with stats or notes. And so he said that if I wanted to see the stats, he'd show me. And I was like, no, no, I'll take your word for it. So he's he's critiquing your game or saying, I need more this and more, yeah. I need more that. He basically said that I need to carry better. I say basically. He said carry better and more yards. And that's what I've been working on. I've been working on it all year. I'm trying to find a way of doing that. But how do I get three defenders <laughs> going forward? You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's a rhetorical question. No, no, but do you know what I mean? It's it's tough now because I've I've you we've done it where we say play Claremont that year we beat them by loads in that semi final. We say right, Fritz Lee's the guy we have to go after. Yeah, right? making meters. And I remember Jacques, Jacques Berger and Skylar Bridge just like chopping the life out of it, cutting five people off to try and get him. And I feel like that is maybe what's going on with me now. So oh, I need definitely, to, Bill. I need to find a way of doing what I used, what I, I can do more effectively with this target on my back. Who's leading the charge at the minute? Internationally? Yeah. Whereas group of players, you like, I don't know if you talk about it, like do you say, God, they're good at the minute. Because you, England are always the team, right? Mm. That everyone wants to beat. Yeah. Like everyone. Like you chat to anyone, it's like, oh, England. Do you reckon that's historical more than anything? I don't know. I don't I, I think it's, because I, I was trying to unpick this because there's not a huge amount of success, right? It's not as yeah. if like England rugby, you've been very good. Yeah, but, yeah, like yeah. France have been good at points. Wales have been probably the form team over recent years historically. Mm. I don't know what the numbers are for the championships. I don't know. I think there's always this perception, and I'm different, right? Quarter English, I'm yeah. English, English. <laughs> quarter English of arrogance. Like they think yeah. there's an arrogance around English people. I don't. I don't know why. I don't think there is. Yeah, I think that's more historical. To be fair. Yeah, maybe. Who would I say is the best team right now? Mm. Six Nations, who's the one like that gets Billy up for it? I know you get up for all of them. Who do you want to beat the most? Scotland. Do you? Yeah. Oh, God. Don't say that. Yeah.